Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As you can tell, it's game day for the U.S. We play England. So while I'm going to go ahead and do a short video, I was told about the uh, mini campaign in the War of the Ring of Edain by a man named Necro. I don't know why his name sounds familiar. I feel like I've seen it in a different video or I've heard of him in a different video. Um, and I feel like he's a very good player. So if that is true, thank you, sir. Regardless. Thank you, sir. I did not know that there was a campaign in the Age of the Ring, or not Age of the Ring, the uh, Edain mod uh, for the Battle for Middle-earth 2 campaign. So we're going to go ahead and give it a go. It's going to be a short episode because I've got to get ready for the U.S. Uh, to Our play. Wages war with all of Middle-earth. He must be stopped or all shall fall into darkness. as possible all right lands of middle earth must be saved okay start the battle on rivendell how do i start the battle on rivendell I have to hit in phase. Ah, I do have to hit in phase. Okay. So this is this is interesting. Okay. I kind of like this. I kind of like this better than uh the Battle from Middle Earth 2 campaign. Uh in a way, because it's you know updated into 2022 graphics. Hi Duke. Uh, as you can see, I'm kinda I'm also I also have to work today. Rivendell is a hidden refuge and stronghold for the elves. Yeah, the old, uh, the old cinematics. Fantastic. That's not a lot of works. We could kill that. I mean, just like a battalion of elves could figure that out. That's so fucking cool. I'm two minutes into this, and I'm already said the word fuck. Hi, sir. Uh, I will, I will get you food and water in a moment. Objectives, bonus objectives. I can have it. Oh, I guess I just could do that. Cannot be. I've never been so close to Rivendell. You pull back. Now that the goblins are in here, I'm I'm kind of glad that they did that, or they did this, to where we can have this. I know I promised the uh, second part of that hero defense, the Angmar hero defense. Um. I still have it saved. I just haven't had a time. I haven't had time to really much do anything. And if you'll give me a second, I have a whiny dog. I will pause this and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And my apologies. All right, let's check this out. I'm actually, this is actually kind of cool. I'm really excited that uh, you guys told me about this. Uh, this is, this is very cool. Breeze of Monway. Attack. And I'm, if, I feel like the units... I feel like the units make more sense in this one. And it's not just the Lorien Elves and, you know, the Mithlon Spearmen and stuff like that. I mean, for Battle for Minora 2, it was a good game, don't get me wrong. But I feel like the Adain mod and Age of the Ring kind of build on this. And make it just a little bit better and make a little bit more sense. Who messaging me? World Cup talk. So for you, you England fans, uh, you know I, I normally like I normally like the English, but today you are my enemies. Uh, and hopefully we win. It would be hopefully the USA wins. It would have been so much easier if we had beaten Wales, but no, we can't do that. We have the squad to do it. The coach just kind of screwed us. Greg Berhalter is just a—he's 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 a coach. 
Uh, I mean, there's not much I can say. I mean, it's actually quite annoying that you know I wasn't even able to see the the majority of, or the last of the second half, which actually really fucking sucked because I was at work and I'm gonna be at work again today. But you better you better believe your candy asses that I'll be watching at work because we ain't playing that game. We this I have waited eight fucking years to watch this to watch a world cup because if you guys remember right the usa didn't qualify last cup because we got beat by trinidad and tobago i think it was trinidad and tobago i think that was i think that's the one i'm thinking of but i mean for the love of the lord here the lord the lord we gotta we got to do things we got to do this stuff so i will be doing it one mission at a time uh, this being the first one, this will be the set, the, the second series. I will make the, um, this will be a series where we do the good and the bad. I was going to do the evil first, but you know, I'm not, I'm not feeling evil today. I'm not feeling evil, bro. I'm kind of, I'm kind of here for, I'm kind of here for, for some good, you know. I need some positive vibes for work, man. It's Black Friday and I go to work the gun, the gun bar for eight hours, nine hours. Excuse me. Oh yeah. We must warn Lord Elrond. We must warn Lord Elrond. Why not just start shouting like right at the gate? Elrond, Elrond, we're fucked. There's a bunch of goblins coming down the mountains. Bro, we need help. Oh. What brings you back so soon, Elf? What brings you back so soon, Elf? They're approaching from the south. As since this day was coming, <laughs> long has Rivendell been safe from the servants of darkness. Its sanctity must not be lost. Goblins, I'll take care of the filthy wretches. I'll take care of the filthy wretches. You can build more warriors. Oh, that's not even possibly close. Where the hell is this elven barracks? There you are. That's more like the... Elrin units that I'm used to. I have to have things symmetrical. Don't judge me. It's just how I have to have things. So if we're gonna have six, we're gonna have to have six and six, my boys. Six and six. Hello. How are we doing today, sir? We're just gonna go ahead and open the gate a little bit. Yeah, kid. Come this way, me lads. God, I miss the old horns, bro. That that was a thing. Oh, I miss the old stuff. Oh, new bonus objective point. Oh, I like that. Instead of the um, instead of like instead of popping up right here, you just click defend Rivendell from top. You have only one choice. You must unite, or you will. Hey, Elrond, can you uh, unleash? There we go. Fucking L. Fucking L, mate. Fucking L. You couldn't. You couldn't have done that before, yeah. Now, England, I will give you something. You guys are doing pretty good, right? Uh, I didn't. I okay. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Harry Kane get injured? Which is good for the U.S., bad for bad for you guys. Definitely not that great for you guys, but good for us. I feel like a lot of the... <laughs> some archers, some Rivendell archers have arrived to the west. Yes, yes, my friend. These are, these are definitely Rivendell archers. Uh, they are Dunedain. I appreciate the reference. This is, this is good. I like this. Just have like some a signal fire of motherfuckers just ready to to, uh, to be there in case you know you need it. Mm -hmm. Come on, Mr. Gloin. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh no. 
Oh, we're on. Trolls, kill them now, please, yes. Weapons! I like that there's a gate here. One of the problems I had with, uh, or not really a pro it wasn't really a problem. It's a nitpicky thing. But when you were defending the original, when you're defending original Rivendell, it was just like a pathway. There was like no, no separating it. There was no nothing. It was just, you know, they could waltz right into your, your door. There was not a damn thing you could do about it, you know? And that, that was a little bit frustrating. Cause it's like, bro, what the fuck? What the hell am I supposed to do? Defend Rivendell from attack. That was two attacks, mate. That was not all that. We must gather our strength. I return with the lances, father. I return with the lances, father. Two battalions of lances. Lances. We destroyed a goblin camp to the west of here. Lances. There are more goblins setting up camp across the river. <laughs> yes, Arwen, there it really is, yes. You are absolutely correct on that. It'd just be on the river. As one battalion just like eeks out. The goblin filth. Oh, this isn't. I mean, Battle of the Middle Earth 1's campaign was great. It'd be kind of cool if he did, uh, if a Dane redid that. You know, I would be very interested to see them redo the Battle of the Middle Earth 1 campaign, actually. Because I could see them doing it with uh, the camp style, or the, the castle style, is perfect. Well, I mean, that's literally how it was in uh, the the first battle for Middle Earth, right? So, you know, that's a that's a great a great way to do it. Uh, you are not going to go that way, because I'd rather not lose all of you. Thank you. Yes, we've had this discussion before. You cavalry are great, great, absolutely fantastic. And I know there's going to be a worm soon, so we're going to kind of have to be a little wary of that. The Valley of the Goblin Filth. All right, Elrond, we're on the way. Calm yourself, mate. Calm yourself. I realize that the goblins have attacked. Oh, hello, fire arrows. That's a terrifying thing. We're going to kill you real quick. Oh, hi, big lumbering dude. Well, hello there. How are you doing? Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Savages. The fire arrows can can kind of stop, please. Yeah, there we go. I do have this on medium, just because I, I I did not know what to expect, and you know I don't want to like I don't want to. Create a bad video by me losing all the time, so you know. I mean, it's very possible. Honestly, it is. It it really is. Ow. Oh, also, before I even forget, sorry, I was stretching. <laughs> uh, I will be doing an Elden Ring video soon because there's new stuff in Elden Ring. It's crazy. I didn't know that they had added new shit to Elden Ring, but they have. So we're gonna kind of we're gonna we're definitely gonna revisit Elden Ring. Uh, not maybe maybe not like a playthrough because uh, I don't know if I have the extraordinary patience for that. Um, but agreed. But I could definitely get behind doing like a little a goofy little video because you know. That's just all, I mean, that's literally all I'm really going to do is just some, some dumb shit, you know? I'm working on a build right now that has no reason to work, but it's working. Basically, I have a halberd in one hand and a little pokey sword in the other. Like, like, I mean, not like a straight sword or anything like that, like a thrusting sword, like a, a rapier, I guess is the, a better term. It's okay. So yeah, that's a that's an interesting build just because I don't think like in later bosses it's gonna work, but I'm gonna force in this anyways. And the uh, the halberd's gonna have uh, cold, uh, the cold affinity, 
and then the little thrusting sword, which is probably going to be like the clean rot knight, uh, clean rot knight's th sword, and it's going to have the either blood or poison. I don't know which one yet. I might do poison, but blood's still kind of like broken in Elden Ring, even after all the patches and shit, especially in PvE. Uh, I don't know about PvP because I don't do PvP in Elden Ring because I'm, you know, kind of a kind of that guy. I don't really give a shit. Hi! Oh my god, all these archers. How the fuck? Retreat! Retreat! No, Eagle! You will pay for that, bitch! Fuck you off! Why are you dying? Yeah, we're gonna have to! Holy shit! Oh my god! What the fuck just happened? Yeah, okay, um... Where's the fucking... Hey, let me revive my heroes, bitch! Yeah, okay, yeah, they're no match, alright? Yeah, fuck off of that. Bro, what the shit is this? See, this is exactly why I was like, ah, we can, we may, we may do that. Okay, so I gotta find out where the fuck the Jesus crack cat. This is why we don't have important shit on the desk. Or at least I don't anymore. You crack addict. That utterly failed, and that... I'm actually a little upset, because now I don't think I can revive my fucking heroes. Yeah, I can't. I don't know why I can't, but I can't. That's... that's kind of stupid. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I don't think I can revive my heroes. How the fuck did that fail? That's just shitty. And now we're kind of screwed if when the worm shows up, because we kind of need the we kind of needed the heroes so they could tank the damage and whatnot. That sucks. Oh, I'm angry. Yeah, we can't even train archers. Fucking a, bro. All right, so problem number one. How the fuck? How did you? Watch for the enemy. Like the wind. How the? What the fuck? Our lands are in trouble. You know, shit. Our lands are in trouble. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. No, we're we're on it. But cave troll jackass number one and two here and his brother, big slim. We come to ready. Oh yeah, we've de yeah we've reached our command limit. Fuck off. Hey, can I... I can't... I can't revive my heroes. This is not gonna go well. I don't think it's gonna go well. I really don't. Hey, guys, can we kill the fucking goblins? Thank you. That was dumb. That didn't... Don't draw attention. I don't think I can get... Right out and destroy the goblin filth. Yeah, no, we're on that, pal. Don't, don't you worry, my boy. We got that down. But yeah, those those archers, bro. They 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 rained havoc. How that happened? I got no idea. That really just kind of like put a crimp in my sail. That, that didn't work at all. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Let's try this again, but this time with no heroes, and we're boned. Can I get an F in the comments for my my entire army? I'm gonna go uh, make my... I also want to apologize for my lack of... Uh, my lack of... We will defend the elven land. Uh, posting uh, i really i really do apologize it's not because i don't love you guys i really do love you guys and i also wanted to mention at the time of recording we are 
at hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on one second my phone's decided to look 111 subscribers 112 last night but i think we lost one hey that's okay i get it i'm not everybody's cup of tea um however guys thank you very much i honestly did not expect to get this far um and all we need is nine more for the end of the year and I, honestly, I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't know what to do for you guys. Um, I don't know what you guys want to see. I don't know what you guys want to, like, what you guys like watching. I mean, granted, you guys like watching this game. Uh, and you guys seem to be okay with the war, like, my take as a gun, uh, a gunsmith on Warzone 2's weapons. If you really want, and, I, and, if, and if you really want to see that kind of pain uh, in me... <laughs> Uh, I can do Warzone 1's weapons, especially like the Vanguard stuff. Um, I'm not as familiar with World War II weapons and their variations and what would work and what doesn't work, because there was a lot of crazy steampunk shit going on in World War II and World War One. So, I mean, I know for a fact, I'm sorry, did I see that little skeleton get thrown out? Throw it out. Son of a bitch! There's like a little goblin in there throwing shit out like it's his fucking... Like he owns the joint. Yo, 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 your mama... Were you raised in a barn, sir? Pick up after your damn self. Ooh, that... Mmm, no. Bad, bad goblin. You ain't... You don't throw your shit out for the rest of the world to see. You don't air your dirty laundry out in the open. Oh? What the fuck? Yeah, come on. Let's go ahead and get to the worm. Oh shit, there was a fucking hand! Did you see that there was a hand that grabbed the fuck a uh, goblin and just like like I will be back him all the way to the fucking darkness. What the fuck was that? That's honestly terrifying. Imagine you're just like a goblin just walking around doing your business. All of a sudden a hand shoots up and grabs you and yanks you into the abyss. Bro, I'd shit myself. Hundred percent. Hundred million percent I'd shit myself. I have no idea what the hell. No, fuck that. F that, my boy. Poor little gobbo. Yeah, there he is right there. T-posing as a motherfucker. Well, he became a bunch of bones, but hey, you know, whatever. Yeah, we gotta get to the worm. It's a worm! Yeah, you're right. You're 100% right. We are fucking boned. Use eagles to well um about that uh padre. Um yeah, we don't have worms anymore. Or we don't have eagles anymore, they kinda fucking died. So what are we gonna do about that? However, he seemed very uh interested in on fire. Man, that's gotta suck. Okay, let's look at this in, in reality, right? So imagine you're 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 some you're you're an elf. Okay, well that was a lot easier than I thought. Uh, I built that up to be a little bit harder than it was. Under siege from the goblins of the Misty Mountains, Rivendell is no longer safe for the elves. As time is now running out, Elrond forms a plan to unite the elves and dwarves of the north against some of this campaign, bro. His most powerful warrior, Glorfindel join forces with the dwarf leader Glowin to make war on the goblins and forge this Mr. Necro bro can we get like a, a fucking round of applause from Mr. Necro I realize my hair is like super super janked right now I, I don't know what happened here here but yeah uh, Everything else is fantastic. I don't like this little bit right here, but it has to come. It has to grow out because the last person before I got my hair cut uh, kind of fucked my line up all the way. They like pushed my line all the way up to here. I think you can kind of see it. They, they pushed the line all the way up to here. So I kind of have to like regrow my hair from that line down. Um, but yeah, no. Um, Mr. Necro, bro, or do you prefer Mr. Do you like Necro? I'm just, I'm just gonna call you Necro, brother. Um, shout out to you for literally suggesting this when I had no idea about this. Um, 
you allow me you allowed me to keep my promise the first one and and we get to play we get to play lord of the rings my boy you got a spot at my range any day come on down let's shoot some guns let's have some fun bro blow some shit up we can get some tannerite that is illegal that is legal by the way it is legal. I'm not suggesting anything illegal. We would be... Hi, YouTube. We're going to be very... We would, I, I am a very safe shooter, okay? See? I had a magazine loaded with snap caps so I could test some stuff when I, you know, work on my guns. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, for now, that's, that's... I don't know where it is. Okay, so this is going to be... This is going to be fucking cool. And I'm going to go ahead... And save this because we're gonna come back to this and we're gonna have a lot of fun with this as a matter of fact I feel like I'm gonna film the second video today so yeah so one thing I want you guys to do for me is if you guys are watching the World Cup I want to see who are you supporting are you pulling for the US are you pulling for England look England you know I love you guys you know you you guys are are cool people i love your accent right but in this group stage man y'all are y'all you you understand man if you're a soccer fan you may be buddy buddy with people from all over the globe but when the world cup kicks off they're the enemy now for the usa it's going to be a little bit more difficult because we drew with wales in a game that i don't like and the officiating was kind of crap even in the england game the officiating was really bad I mean, the U.S. got two bogus yellow cards in the opening 15 minutes. I I don't I don't know, man. This World Cup is kind of kind of weird. I'm not seeing a lot of big names like uh, Anthony Taylor isn't there. Uh, I know the the ref the the legendary ref from uh, Italia, the ball guy. He's the head of the refing association. And he's doing some good stuff. But as far as like other other refs i have no idea so if you guys like this be sure to like comment and subscribe subscribing is unfortunately mandatory i don't know why i said unfortunately it is uh fortunately for you guys because i do some crazy shit i have some crazy plans uh once i get once i graduate which i graduate in may um may of next of, of this upcoming year uh and I, I have some crazy shit that I, I want to get done. Uh, more range day content. I want to get my own range. I want to have my own range. <laughs> because I don't want to like share a stall and I'm doing a video and I look over and some dude's like watching me. That's, that's really weird to me. Uh, and I kind of get a little self-conscious about that. Because I realize I talk really weird. And I'm a, re I'm a weird dude. I get that. But yeah. Uh, liking and commenting, you don't have to do. It does help the channel out a lot. I also like to get to know you guys. I want to build a community here, you know? I want to build a community of nerds and guns. How cool is that? That's, that's fucking cool, bro. Um, I'm a nerd myself. I'm also a former athlete. Uh, one too many hits to the coconut in soccer, and I am kind of done with that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the second video. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.